All right, getting back to weather here and starting with the satellite and radar, which I have to say makes our weather look a little bit more active than it's actually going to be. It looks like there could be a storm system on the way, but this rain that we're seeing in Northern California is going to be staying in Northern California. We only have a very minor rain chance in the forecast, and that's next week. We'll talk about that in a minute, but the one change we are going to see from this little system moving in is an increase in cloud cover. And for tomorrow, it's just a couple of passing clouds, especially early in the day. As we head into Saturday, we're going to see more of that cloud cover filling into Kern County. So we'll get some overcast conditions, but as you can see from Futurecast, all of that rain remains well to our north. It's not until next week that we'll get a little bit of a rain chance. So I don't have too many big changes to talk about here over the next 24 hours. A few more clouds in the sky, but the temperatures are staying in a really steady range. We mentioned that uh, at the top of the show overnight lows tonight, exactly where they've been for the past couple of nights. We'll get down to about 51 degrees here in Bakersfield. Most spots across Kern County, though, will be dropping into the 40s overnight tonight. As far as the high temperatures tomorrow, once again, right where they have been. A couple of spots in the desert like Cal City could get up to about 80 degrees for tomorrow, but most of us will be in the 70s. Could even see some mountain areas in the 70s tomorrow. I've got 69 as the high temperature for Tehachapi. So if you're one degree warmer than expected, you guys are going to make it into the 70s as well. Nice, comfortable weather. Nice, calm weather in the forecast too. Hardly any wind across Kern County. That has been the case through this week. It will change eventually, though. We are anticipating a pretty big change in our weather pattern coming very soon. So we are under some very warm air right now. The jet stream is well to our north. We talked about this yesterday a little bit, but it's going to be dropping down fairly soon. So as we head into Monday here, the jet stream, which was in the Pacific Northwest just a few days ago, has now dropped down and centered over us here in the state of California, and that is the boundary between the warmer air and the cooler air, and we're still technically on the warmer side of that. We're not looking at any cold weather anytime soon, but the closer that gets to that to us rather the closer that cooler air gets and the lower our temperatures are going to drop and Monday is really just the beginning. We're going to get a nice drop in temperatures back to fall like weather as we head into next week. So let's start with the extended forecast air quality tomorrow unhealthy for excuse me moderate air quality tomorrow, but no burning unless registered 78 degrees or high temperature some clouds early and that's all that little storm system is going to muster more cloud cover on Saturday. Remember Saturday night turn the clocks back as daylight saving time is ending. And then Monday, we see the notable change of the forecast. The temperature drops more than five degrees and continues to fall into the middle of next week. Wednesday, there is that rain chance I had mentioned, and it's not a very good one. Just a 10% chance, but definitely shifting back toward the more traditional fall weather pattern here. Mountain communities, Lake Isabella in the 70s through Sunday and then 60s from there on out. Coolest day does look to be Wednesday with a high of 62. For Tehachapi and Fraser Park, temperatures as cool as the lower 50s. By the time we get to Wednesday, overnight lows cool in the 30s.